On some jobs, you might need to create a pipe chase on a wall. First of all, you want to put up your walls wherever they are. Then what you're going to do is put the object on that wall that interferes with your actual cabinet run. The object you're going to use is called a wall return. Even though on this picture you see it's at the end of a run, you could put it anywhere along that run of, of that wall. It doesn't have to be at the right or left side. If I double click on it, you'll notice there's a wall return by left, right, and by location. If I click by location, I can actually tell it where on this wall I want it to go. I can also tell it the width. So if it's like, let's say, 6 inches and the depth were 12 inches, and then I want to center it on the wall, I'll just click the center on button and click OK. We've got this item here that's actually this wide and this deep. And then if I double click back on it, I can always change it. Maybe it wasn't so deep. Maybe it was more like 5 inches deep. And maybe it was more like 12 inches wide. We've got this little piece sticking out here. Now, it doesn't matter how big it is. We can make it whatever we want. And remember, you can also change the height of it. So there could be a case where something really sticks out in the middle of nowhere and you just want to create that area with sheetrock. This will allow you to do that. So if I wanted to make this 54 inches tall and I want to make it, uh, let's say, 22 deep and 32 wide and click OK, I've just created this item that who knows what it could be behind it, but it's just an area where it's sheetrocked. We go to 3D. You see it's just some sheetrock that's bumped out here.